Something's happening to Earth. We need to find the others. I haven't seen some of them for centuries. You hear that, Sprite? Family reunion. It's about time. It's a really interesting mix. And having ten characters for a big, slightly dysfunctional family. This is what the end of the world looks like. At least we have front row seats. Well, you know what's never saved the planet? Your sarcasm. Cersei, she has the power to manipulate matter. And she's had a long-running, on-off relationship with Icarus. How long were you together? 5,000 years. Well, I guess you can call that long term. Icarus is the loyal soldier. Dad, that's Superman with the cape and you're shooting laser beams out of your eye. I don't wear a cape. Bastards can assemble anything out of any kind of technology. There were more deviants than you said. Well, I'm sure that was fun for you. It was. Athena, she's the goddess of war. She can manifest different weapons, which was very fun. Gilgamesh, he's a protector. His specialty is a strong punch. This is Makari. None of us have seen her for centuries. Sprite can create illusions. She's really sarcastic, especially with Kingo. I would say Kingo is a little self-involved. Kingo, the movie star. I've directed some things, too. Droog. He's mind control. He stands up for what he believes in and that there shouldn't be violence. Don't. We don't interfere in their wars. And then there is Ajax. She's kind of the leader of the Eternals. Her power is healing. This planet and these people have changed me. These superheroes reflect the world we live in. Everybody is unique and special. I think Eternals is the most epic movie that Marvel has done. And I really, really mean that. They're really gonna see a movie unlike any they've ever seen before.